Well, welcome back again. Hey, I found another home movie this time. Uh, a little trip up to Idlewild, I think in 1969 with my Boy Scout troop, uh, Troop 12 out of uh, San Juan Capistrano. Uh, it appears uh, uh, we found a uh, frozen lake there. I'm not sure where that is. Maybe someone watching this can tell me exactly where that was, but uh, uh, it was obviously uh, frozen enough that we could walk on it. And we were we found a nice little uh, hill to come down on inner tubes and, and uh, <laughs> not a helmet between any of us. I can remember flying off that landing on the ice and of course the compression, your ass had hit the ground and your tailbone had hit the ice and we probably, every one of us bruised our tailbone and of course we were uh, pretty good at missing that tree right there too. I know later that day we built a, a bobsled run and Man, that thing was was unreal. It it had uh, zigzag down the hill and had turns with a about a six foot high wall. Uh, Steve Gates, I think, broke his arm on that on that run. I guess we should have made those uh, walls about uh, seven feet tall instead of six feet tall. Now, finally, it looks like we uh, we managed to find another run here. Oh wait, here I remember this guy on the on the sled, he came flying off that thing, hit the ice so hard, I think it compressed his chest, maybe bruised his sternum. Uh, but we found another spot uh, out on the lake where uh, you kind of slid straight out onto the ice without getting airborne. And here we go, Here, here's, uh, I think, Malcolm, uh, me, uh, with this me, Mark Gamble, Malcolm, and Steve Gates, I think, uh, coming down straight up onto the ice there. Now, I'm not sure <laughs> what's going on. I think it's Malcolm trying to light a match. We, we made an igloo, no, no front entrance, just the top, and built a fire in it and lit a fire. And, yeah, well, what do 13-year-old boys do? They light fires. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Aloha.